It's that 9 4 and today we're in the Lotus Evora GTE Overcut Edition. Very cool name. Oh, this does look like he's got a wide body on it. So, kind of cool. I love the green wheels. It's like British Racing Green. Very cool with the taped lights on the back, yellow lights on the front. Very beautiful looking car. So, let's go into customization, upgrade the performance and stuff. And then we'll take it to a race. So we'll have a look at what Liverpool's people have done. They've got Monster Energy, that's actually well done. Green matches, another one. Pretty sure this is meant to be like a Formula One. Okay. It says Honda on it on the one for the break. That's that's cool, but I'm not a fan of Matt. Yellow, interesting, that's well, well, actually well done. And then we got this race livery. Cool. That's a little look at livery, so that's about it, but I'm just going to get into, straight into doing the race. But we're going to check the performance first. 117 miles an hour for top speed, and then we got 740, it's 400 and 70 break. Jesus. Now let's click get on all our parts. Doesn't matter what parts. And then we'll see what we're gonna have for top speed. And there we go, top speed 226 miles an hour and the brake horsepower 553. Okay. Now let's take it to the race. The reason I don't customize these cars with Avantage and stuff is because I just want to test them as they are to start with and I'm not going to waste your time going through the Avantage on the video and I want to just get this video done out of the way so off we go into the race and see what it's like right then so now we're getting into the race the green on this it looks lovely such a good looking car. I might end up throwing that first up around because that new first looked really, really, really well. But yeah, let's let's see how it handles. Very cool. And on on tomorrow there will be the new event, I believe. So we'll be covering that content on that on that day as well. So, hopefully you're all here for that. Because I should be able to cover it when it comes in, hopefully. This feels nice, it doesn't sound too good, because it's just, like, max speed. Um, but when it's in its wings in the low range, it actually sounds nice. But top range when it's just sitting there at normal speed. It's just a generic boring sound to me. That downshift was lovely. See when it's in the lower section it sounds kind of nice. It's just in the high speeds, it's just not too not too impressive. The sounds just, I don't know, could have been better to me. These are very cool. I'm not a big fan of wide bodies, but when they're done like this, very cool. Look at proper race spec. Nice. Can't drive in this drive when it comes to save my life though. The car does have a fair bit of weight to it. It's not as nimble as you'd expect, but I'm glad I've got it. I do like Lotus, it's a very cool company to have. I wouldn't mind driving a lot of like having a Lotus. That'd be a very cool car to be able to drive and stuff. I 
it does it does feel good. I don't even know what's so bad. It does not not change into so bad because it doesn't lose traction. It feels literally feels like a race car. And the green on it. Wow. I'm not sure about the yellow on the brake pads, but I guess lower to see colour, so yeah, but well, I do like the yellow lights. That's a very cool feature. Not too far from the end of this race now. Forgot how long this race was. You know, it's it's kind of cool. Just me driving the car. I don't even know if I crashed this video. I probably did. I know I crashed into Barry, but I mean like actual like proper crashes. Not just like little scrapes and stuff. Now we go to the finish. One minute six. Well, we're not one minute six, three minutes forty-six. Lovely. There we go. So if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.